Finally tonight, in a new museum in lower Manhattan, a single day in the life of America is frozen in time. September 11th, 2001. Tomorrow, just across from where the Twin Towers once stood, President Obama will attend the ceremonial opening of the National September 11 Memorial Museum. Jeff Glor takes us in for an early look. From the moment visitors first enter, little is held back. Steel from the South Tower that split open, a mangled fire truck, a bloody shoe. And echoing in the halls, the voices of those who died. Lauren Grancolis left her husband a message from Flight 93. I just love you. Please tell my family I love them too. Bye, honey. Alice Greenwald is the museum's director. We're here to remind ourselves that this could have been us. It could have been us that morning. And we have a moral obligation to remember these people because all they did that day was get up and go to work in a high-rise building in New York. I do that every day. The museum, dedicated to all those who died in Washington, Pennsylvania, and New York, sits seven stories underground, below the tower footprints. Anthony Gardner lost his brother Harvey. Gardner worked hard to preserve the box beam columns that mark exactly where the towers began. We now have a museum that tells our 9-11 story, our nation's 9-11 story. It's, it's just going to have a tremendous impact on people, I think, as they come through these spaces, these sacred spaces. There's the cavernous Foundation Hall, sided by a concrete wall that held back the Hudson River and never gave way. And the last column, the final piece of wreckage removed from the site. It's now covered with tributes from first responders and families. This is emotional stuff. If people aren't sad here, we've done something wrong. But that isn't the end of the story. This is a museum about hope. Hope, Greenwald says, that only by bearing witness can we imagine a way out of the unimaginable. Jeff Glor, CBS News, New York.